Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at how to make an AI face swap in Breeze Booth for iPad uh, using Breeze FX. Now, if you have watched the video on how to do this with DSL, DSLR Remote Pro, then the process is actually very similar. But there are a couple of little minor differences along the way that I just want to cover off. Uh, so if you're using iPad, uh, this video is for you. Now, the first thing we need to look at is the taking screen. If you've created your event using the event setup wizard in the event editor, um, it doesn't make the taking screen by default. And that's important because that's the screen that is used when Breeze sends the image up to Breeze FX. So out of the box, what that means is when you take the picture, when it's being uploaded, you're gonna end up on a blank screen. It's gonna look like nothing's happening, even though it is. So we wanna correct that and add in a taking screen, preferably one with an animation. So let's just jump across to Windows here and the event editor, and I've made an AI face swap event. So I'm gonna go into that, into the profile, and then just open up our folder of um, screen assets. And you can see here that we don't have a taking screen. But what I'm gonna do is copy our processing uh, processing GIF, which will just give us sort of like a, a animated loading bar to use uh, when we're on that. So I'm gonna copy that one. And I'm just gonna rename it. Um, we'll call that taking underscore loop. And then we should sort of all be set. So from here, we can jump into uh, Breeze FX. Now, I'm going to use the basketball player that I used in the DSLR demo, but we'll just create a new one um, just in case you didn't watch that video. So we're going to create a new FX configuration called basketball, uh, basketball player demo three. Get my spelling right. Now we don't need to fill in the token, that will be done automatically. Token is just basically the ID for this particular configuration. And we're gonna select face swap as the uh, type. And here we can now upload the uh, image that we wanna use. So it's a basketball player that I've got. And once we've done that, we can just hit create. Once it's uploaded, we'll see a new configuration appear here. And if we just quickly edit this one, uh, you'll see we've got our basketball play here and this is the person that we're going to turn into when we take our photo. So we need to go back to FX configuration and get the URL. We can copy it from here or we can come to the drop down menu and select copy URL. Okay, we've got that and we'll come into the uh, event editor. So we'll just jump back out just so we can do it from scratch. Uh, so we'll go to AI face, uh, swap event, advanced settings, edit the, uh, the profile. Uh, photos tab and then we want to enable uh, post, processing your, pro, post processing URL and paste that in and we also need our password which we can get from our account down here. Uh, without the password it'll fail and you won't get a result return so that's very important. So basically the URL just points uh, Breeze at BreezeFX, uh, your specific company and then the specific uh, configuration. So I'll okay that. Now, while we're here, we'll just quickly jump back into our Photos tab and the Print Layout. And we just want to make sure that we've got a nice big single image set up here and that we're just taking the one photo in this case. All right, so that looks all set. So we'll just jump across to the iPad and see what we get. Uh, we'll just exit out and update that event, make sure it is all good. Okay, so we'll run that and we'll take a photo. All right, so that's loading, so that's being sent up to Breeze FX, and we'll see what we get. So it usually takes about 10 seconds uh, to send back the uh, final image. So here we go. So there we go. So that is uh, me turned into a handsome basketball player uh, using Breeze FX and iPad. So as I said, the process is very similar on DSLR as it is for iPad, just a different location to add the URL and just making sure that taking screen is in there. Uh, we'll look at some other, um, other tips and tricks with the print layout editor in particular, um, and we'll add a whole series of videos and other things that you can do with AI um, in the near future. But if you have any questions in the meantime, please jump into the comments and let me know.